My name is Rachel Evans. I grew up in Oakdale. I was a police officer for 10 years. Then um, I had a short time off, um, returned to Gwent Police as an investigative support officer. Then I worked with Women's Aid as a crisis support worker. And now I'm back in Gwent Police as the survivor engagement coordinator. So the role is to get feedback from survivors of domestic and sexual abuse in order to improve the service that Gwent Police provide. So that feedback then gives us insight into what victims are experiencing when they contact Gwent Police. And it also helps us to improve that, to improve confidence within the police. And they know then that their wants and needs are being heard by the organisation. Victims often feel that they're not being listened to, that every, every victim is an individual, they have different wants and needs. So by speaking to them, we can understand the sort of themes and trends that maybe we, we need to improve on, things that we need to change. And we're doing that by not making assumptions, by actually listening to victims, understanding their experience and understanding how we can improve. I don't, I don't ask people to relive what happened to them, but I do take them through their interactions with the police. So when they first make contact um, to the end of the investigation, and it's really important that I understand what Gwent Police did well, so we can pinpoint good working practices, but also find out what we could have handled differently to sort of pass that learning on to make sure that we improve. It's really important that they come forward to give this feedback. So whether they've had a good experience or a bad experience, we need to be able to learn from that. What I want is for survivors of domestic abuse and sexual abuse to be able to feel confident in the police and the investigations that they're carrying out. I want them to feel seen and heard and to know that their wants and needs are being listened to by the organisation. And I also want to make sure that there's the right support in place for them. Um, so whether that's during the investigation, but also after to make sure that there's that support and safeguarding in place that's right for them. I know it can be really scary to contact the police, whether, you, whether it's the first time you're contacting the police or whether it's the 20th time of contacting the police. It is a really scary thing to do. But I want victims to know that officers are there to help them that they help, they're there to help them guide them through the investigation um, and that they are wanting and willing to bring perpetrators of these offences to justice.